Hi guys, Patrick from Wrestling Nerds One, who welcome you to Road to Sadari 2022, September 2022, episode 6. Hopefully this will be episode 6. If not, I'll be filming a new introduction. Um, the reason behind this video is that I'm seeing a lot of people on Facebook, a lot of people um, basically asking the question, like, what is the cost of a day out there? like being a tourist and everything like that and the mindset was of this video is that i've got the information from like last year and the year before and i'm going to kind of like go back so the, while i film this intro so within the next couple of days i'm going to go back i'm going to go through videos um notes that i've written stuff like that because I, i'm one of these people for some reason i wrote little notes on like stuff and about the pricing and everything and then kind of like by the end of it you could make your own mind up add a couple of euros on top take a couple of euros away i'm not doing this to brag about how much i spend i'm very tight when it comes to money and the thing is i'm one of those ones i don't like to spend a lot of money but the thing is i think this video could be helpful for people who don't have an idea and generally want to see how much it's gonna roughly and when i say roughly i don't want people at the end of it saying no no you didn't you know that's not right that's not right this is an estimate as i, I was practicing earlier at work estimate i don't know I, I tried making a new word up but um yeah it's an estimate it's kind of here to be a tool to help you this video is going to be a tool to help you um you know kind of make a decision obviously there, there, there's plenty of tips like for me anyway like basically if you fracture in the cost of everything, I generally put an extra 20 euros on top just in case. It's kind of like if you rarely tee to the budget, but then I always have extra spends. So the rule of this, like, kind of day in the life, like, kind of estimate what you would spend video. Um, The rules, obviously, I won't put cigarettes in there. I won't put, like, like for me, energy drinks. I, like, have to have one or two energy drinks a day. And then I won't... I would kind of just do an estimate on beer in the evening, like if you went to a bar, and kind of you can subtract that if you don't drink. Um, but so obviously when I get the prices, we'll just do a breakfast, we'll do a little shop for lunch, and then for your dinner slash tea, uh, we'll do a full meal, um, just the main meal and the beer or something. I usually have two beers with a meal. And then we'll just probably just work it out and see what it would be if you went to go to a bar for a say a couple of pints of myth i'll say guys i'll get back to you very soon and i hope to see you all very soon bye so obviously my research is um using my channel uh from pretty much last year's vlogs <clears throat> kind of going through that kind of getting a rough estimate from stuff there but the thing that i've noticed is that the, the playlist for this is getting too long so now i think probably friday or maybe sunday i'm going to separate um these vlogs so your holiday vlogs will be in one playlist and then do a travel and news update in a different playlist so hopefully i can get that sorted over the weekend i'm back yes uh sorry about that long ass intro there but yeah i'm back um yeah i've done my research i've come up with what i think is basically just an average patrick day um, obviously this video is not basically like i keep saying it's not to brag that how much i spend it's to hopefully give you a rough estimate what to spend and what you can be expected to spend while you're in Corfink. My Xbox has switched off, I'll be back with that. But yeah, what you can expect to spend in Sadari. Um, I've done it like pretty much like a midday or well, midweek of the holiday. You know, it's midweek, it's middle of the week. I'm not really doing much. It's a proper lazy day. I'm just enjoying my time there. This is that sort of day. So we're going to start off with the breakfast. Um, basically what i've gone for would be a breakfast in madison's they do breakfasts for about six euros to do a large one at six nine euros and 99 cents but to make numbers easy i've just done a six euro breakfast obviously with most breakfasts in greece you do get a, either a choice of tea coffee or an orange juice um or sometimes some of them do pots of tea some of them do you know pots of coffee but we'll wait for that that's not for this video um then i've gone for the lunch i've done a typical like midweek holiday lunch would be go to the shop i would have got a loaf of bread you can get freshly baked bread for about a euro in the sadari market that's where i got i kept getting my bread from last time and i was paying literally like a euro and it was decent bread um then like my chris obviously you may have saw last year's vlogs tzatziki crisp or something like that they were 150 and these are big bags 
like obviously you could share them between a family of four and you could have a bowl each and still be plenty of leftover um and then i've gone for my cheese and ham packs i did speak about them a lot last year the the packs of cheese and the packs of ham did i put the product did i say the price of the crust at 150 yeah i did um cheese and ham pack yeah what i was on about last year it talked about them a lot and they're very very big obviously again it's like a family size pack um you can pick them up from like sadari market they're like in the fridge checks into stores and they're two euros um obviously as well with the cheese and ham packs they do like cheese and turkey and i think there might be a different one but i can't remember so if anyone knows help me out so for the evening meal after chilling out all day i'm gonna go for an evening meal yes i am for the evening meal i'm gonna go to a place um it was mediterranean they do like a mixed grill meat thing and that was eight euros and fifty cents and it was massive and it could probably feed a crash i'm honest i'm being honest there but yeah, with that, you're looking at eight euros and fifty cents. That's how much it was last year, and basically, I looked in like two years ago when I went and had it. Was it two years ago? Had it last year? Two years ago, it was seven euros and fifty cents. True story. So it's gone up. Obviously, it went up last year or the year before. Obviously, drinks. I usually have typically two Mythos. I know that Mythos is definitely three euros and fifty cents for a bottle out there in bars. I've already got my researches on that. But yeah, seven euros for a drink. So you're looking at like. You know, in reality, you're looking at like 15 euros and 50 cents for a meal. Typically, obviously, with a meal, I get asked, well, what do you tip? General idea with that would probably be, depending if it was 15, 50, I'd probably just give 20 euros and say, keep the change, typically. Um, that's how I am. But yeah, typically, if I've got the change or anything like that, I would generally just put all the shrapnel change in and usually just do 10 to 20% we'll work it out at 10 20 percent and kind of just do like two euros three euros but that's up to you i don't want to put that on and we're not going to add that in this list for the tip but i have been asked how much do you tip but i think that's more of a personal question private question and i don't want to talk about it anyway next up um drinks in the evening so you might want to go for a couple of drinks obviously i'm doing this per person this is just for me uh you might want to go and see Abba, you might want to go and see Amy Winehouse, you might want to go and see Katy Perry or one of the many wonderful acts in Sadari. I think we've got a Sharon again this year. Um yeah, general idea is you'd probably have four beers, that's an estimate depending on what you're into. And uh obviously like I've said it's three euros fifty. So totaling everything up, don't add any tips or anything in this at the time being. Your total would probably be dead on forty euros for a day. Um this is like i said it is an estimate a guesstimate it's one of these things that i keep looking and i'm thinking that's too high i swear i don't spend that much but then i've worked it out in my head which is why i'm going to do a second part um in a minute i'm literally just going to reflect a minute and then come back to you so i'll go now and i'll be back in a second bye so back again guys yeah um 40 euros the thing about that is, though, is that you don't spend 40 euros. You, you know, the simple fact is you could cut lunch out after breakfast, you know, and that saves you roughly 5 euros. Um, obviously, you can cut your drinks out in the evening. That saves you 14 euros. So the thing is, it's kind of like typically there's ways, so many ways around it. And the simple fact is I'm not telling you to how to spend your money. I don't want to be that person. I'm not saying this is what it can cost you. And hopefully that information kind of gives you an idea before you get out there. And I'm hoping, like, if you do have any questions or, you know, if you're not going to go out there till next year and you have any questions for next year that you want me to find out between now and then, um, obviously, comment below. Um, please, obviously, mention, obviously, in the description of the video, there is a link to my Facebook page, uh, Wrestling Nerds YouTube. Obviously, on that, it, basically, that's... You can get in touch with me 24 hours a day on that. Um, <clears throat> like, well, not 24 hours a day. Don't stop messaging my page at, like, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning. Please, please, please don't. But, yeah, um, yeah, just go on that. Um, you can message me through there or comment on a post and I'll get back to you. And, yeah, it's kind of um, getting closer, isn't it, with these videos uh, kind of thing. If this video goes up end of June july so we i meant to start of june now so if this video goes up start of july then in reality it's july august september so we're, we're like three months away and i said there was only going to be three videos but then now i've thought about another video so it's going to go like that 
and I'm hoping we can get it, you know, I'm hoping I can get this video out sooner rather than later as well. So I'm hoping to get it out not long after this is released. And yeah, it's kind of get, when it's getting closer, more exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I'm watching a lot of videos on YouTube from other people that have been out there this season. Uh, there's a person that's uploaded a load of footage and I've generally forgot his name. So if you can, um, just type in Corfu Sadari and he's done a lot of walking around. Uh, one of the first videos is Palm Grove, so that's where I am stopping this year. Um, and yeah, it's shared footage from outside there, so you're going to see outside where I stop if you watch his videos. But yeah, just go and watch his videos. Same wrestling there, don't you? In, in real life. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, so I think that's everything I've got to say right now. Obviously, the playlist should be sorted by now, Future Patrick. If not, sort it out quickly. Um, obviously, all the playlists are being like separated so you're gonna have your news update vlogs in one playlist so you can go back watch your basically go back and see from the start of covid of these updates until where we are now which is quite interesting if you think about it where we were say two years ago to where we are now um then what we got or last year when i start these vlogs but yeah so over a year for to where we are now and then I'll put all the actual holiday vlogs in one. It's kind of short in that series as well. So there's only like 31 video, separate videos in there now. So yeah, that's pretty much sorted a bit of a mess out when it's done. So I think that's how it works out, isn't it? So if you Patrick, please tell me you sorted it properly. Please tell me it's public. Please tell me it's all done. Anyway, guys, I've been Patrick. This has been Wrestling Nerds. If you want to know anything, like I said, please get in touch. Comments, link for Facebook. And hopefully I'll hear from you guys soon. I've been Patrick again. This has been Master Nerds.